Hi everyone, today I'm going to share a Blender plugin with you. This plugin can directly connect to our Sculpt OK, where you can join our AI generated service. First up is the installation. After downloading the package, click on Preference, then select Add ons. Choose the downloaded package from Install from Disk, and there you have it. You can now find the plugin we just installed right here. You can also see the plugin on the right side. We need to get the Skepto K API secret key here. The way to do it is to click on Login to Skepto K on the plugin. Then click on API at the top of the page. Select API key and click Create a new secret key to get a secret key. Copy this key, go back to Blender, and paste it into the plugin. That's it, you are logging. Using the API for AI generation service costs 10 credits each time, and you get 3 watermark-free depth maps. Let me walk you through the entire process. First, we need to click Import Preset to set a preset. Then choose the style for the image you are uploading based on your needs. For general purpose, pick the first one. For portraits, go with the second. And for sketches, select the third. Next, click Local Upload to upload the image you want to work on. Then, wait for about 40 seconds for image to be processed. Also, since our servers are located in the US, Users with unstable internet connections may need to use a VPN. Once the image is generated, it will automatically appear on this plan. What you see now is what the generated image looks like. We can adjust the thickness of the model in the plugin according to our needs. For example, we can increase the 3D depth to enhance the sense of relief. If you want to base of the model to be thinner, you can adjust the thickness parameter. Crop depth is our base cutting feature. If you increase its value, you can cut away the thinner parts of the image, effectively removing the base. If you need to mirror the image, just check this box. This way, both sides of the model will have the image. If we find that the precision is not high enough, we can increase the mesh density parameter to add more faces to the model. Our lower default value is set so that most computers can process the model more quickly. Now, let's increase it to 2000. Then we will add some smoothing to the image. And you can see the surface has become much smoother. Let's take another image as an example. First, we will upload it and then wait for the image to be generated. Once it's done, the generated image will automatically appear on this plan. We can click here to view the other generated images. If you find that two identical images have been generated, you can click Download Recent Task Results and choose one of the images. This will allow you to re-download the three most recently generated images into the plugin. Let's open it and take a look. Now we have downloaded the image that wasn't downloaded earlier. Then we can select one of them to load into Blender. Let's take a look at another one. We can choose the Moodle we are satisfied with. For me, I'm more satisfied with the previous one, so I will choose to re-import that one. I've increased the number of faces to 2000. And we can see more details now. I'd like to increase it a bit more and see what happens. Then we will add a little smoothing. And there you have it, a pretty nice relief model. 
Of course, if you want to do a creative design through test, we can click Web Upload to go to Sketch OK. Then select AI Image Generator from AI Tools at the top. Here we have four different options to choose from. We can input a prompt here and then click Generate. The images I generated in the past are displayed at the bottom of the page. And you can also choose the style you want to generate here. This is the image I just generated. I don't think the result is particularly satisfactory, so I will redo it. There, I think this one looks good. If you think the overall effect of this image is good, but want to make a few minor changes, you can click Generate Similar. Let's give it a try. As we can see, the details of the image have changed a bit, but it still looks very similar to the original. We can generate a depth map for this kind of image by clicking this button, which will take us to the depth map generation page. We can view four images. And click on 3D preview. In the upper right corner, we can adjust the Moodle parameters. I think this image is perfect. We can click on watermark free 3D preview. And it will cost 18 points to download this image. Then we can get a watermark free STL Moodle. You can also use the Moodle scaling slider to increase or decrease the precision of the Moodle. And then click Download STL to download the Moodle. Also, if you have a ready sent point on this image, click in Download to get a watermark free depth map won't cost any additional points. That's all for today's introduction. Thank you all for watching.